Here are some notes on the postdural puncture headache. This is a headache that occurs within five days of a lumbar puncture, spinal or epidural neuraxial anesthesia. The cause is CSF leakage through the dural puncture. The natural course is that most cases spontaneously resolve within two weeks. There are some published values of incidence. With an epidural placement, about 1.5% will get a dural puncture, and about 50% of those will develop a postdural puncture headache. With a spinal needle, the incidence varies from 1 to 11%. Some risk factors, being a female increases your risk, being younger also increases your risk, whereas being older above 60 decreases your risk. Being pregnant increases your risk, and having a previous postural puncture headache, of course, increases your risk of having another one. There are some procedural factors. If you have multiple dural punctures, that, of course, increases your risk. Vaginal delivery tends to fare worse than cesarean delivery. This is likely because of the straining involved in a vaginal delivery. The needle type also makes a difference. A cutting needle is worse than a pencil point needle. Needle size makes a difference, of course. Larger needles will increase your risk. And the bevel direction, the short axis, is worse than the long axis to the spine. There are some non-contributing factors. Some of these are misconceptions. Your approach, midline versus paramedian, does not make a difference. And your loss of resistance method, whether you use air or saline to test for loss of resistance, also doesn't make a difference. There are some associated symptoms with the headache. In order of decreasing frequency, nausea, neck stiffness, photophobia, tinnitus, vertigo, and vomiting. Some characteristics for the headache, it tends to worsen when the patient sits upright or stands, and it tends to improve when they lay flat horizontal. The location is typically frontal.